Within every single one of us, there are two different views of the world. There's actually more, but I'm only going to talk about two. The one view of the world we're all familiar with. It's the view I have in my mind. It's how I see things. It's the story. It's the sense of identity. It's my culture. It's my beliefs. It's my assumptions. It's the way I see everything. And we think pretty much that's it. And we say, so So I know that I can have what I want. I know that this is okay. I don't believe that I can't have what I want. But that's up here. That's a little bit like saying, you know, in, in, in India... I don't know the name of them, but the fellows who steer the elephants, they sit up on top of the elephant and they steer the elephants. And they can steer the elephants as long as the elephant wants to go in the direction that they want to go. But if that elephant decides, I don't want to go there, I want to go there, I'm going to go off into the market and I'm going to eat whatever I feel like it in the market and I don't care who gets in my way, the elephant's going to do that because it's bigger, stronger, is more set in its ways and nobody can tell it no. The elephant in this case is your whole body mechanism. That which the mind, our conscious part, our cognitive part, our decision-making part sits on. This can say yes, this says no. This can want to say, this, tell the elephant go this way. The elephant says yeah, whatever. I'm going this way. And guess which way you're going to go. Now this is a good thing. I love to use the example. When I lived in Miami a long time ago, I lived in Miami Beach and there's a main road, Collins Avenue it goes all the way up and down the length of Miami Beach, which isn't all that wide. It's not a very wide area. Well, I came out of my my uh, my condo one day. I, I walk out onto the street, I'm walking down the street, very deep in thought. I step out into the street to cross the street and in the middle of in the middle of the street, not at a crosswalk. The next thing I know, I'm falling back. That's when I realized what had happened. I had stepped in front of a bus. My body took over, threw my tor my little ass <laughs> back onto the sidewalk. And when I came to, when I realized what had happened, I was already falling backwards. And this bus goes by. Now, had I been in charge instead of the elephant, we would not be making this video right now. We would not be having this conversation. So it's not a bad thing. But you can see how my intent and the intent of the body are two different things. Now your body can get into a state where it thinks something is not safe when it in fact is. In that case, I thought it was safe and the body knew it wasn't. And in this case, it was right. There are other times when you want to do something. Maybe it's improve your relationship or get into a relationship. Maybe it's to have a better job. Maybe it's to have a more creative expression. Maybe it's to make more money. Maybe it's to move to a different place. Anything that where you want to improve your life, your body may have built into it a mechanism that has, has concluded, has a built-in assumption that it's not safe to make that change.